Cult of the Lamb is truly an amazing game. However, I and many people were really disappointed to find out that once you select a Doctrine, and just as a reminder, Doctrines are these sort of passive upgrades. Once you find stone tablets, you can pick one of two uh, Doctrine choices, and there are four categories of these Doctrines. Um, and unfortunately, for some reason, you cannot reselect your your choices. So you see here that I selected belief in sacrifice instead of whatever the other one is called. However, I didn't actually select ritual of resurrection. I changed this recently and I wanted to show you how I do I did this. Unfortunately, I don't think you are able to do this um, if you are a console player. On PC, however, you can go into your save files. This is in the description below, by the way, but you need to go to your users, um, username, app data, local low, massive monster, cult of the lamb and saves. And there you will find a file called whatever slot you've uh, used save slots, uh, zero, one or two, I believe. And you need to open this JSON file in any text editor. I will use notepad plus plus. And all we need to do is go down to unlocked upgrades and also doctrine unlocked upgrades in some cases and basically change a number to a different one. Now, before you can open this JSON file, because if you open your JSON file, this is how it would look like. It's completely gibberish. We need to de-encrypt this first. You can actually go to this website, again, link in the description below. Uh, created by Pentalex on GitHub. Click on Choose File. Select your slot zero or whatever slot JSON file you have. And this website will basically create a human readable version of your JSON file that will look something like this. Not very much human readable uh, at all. To know exactly which numbers we have to rewrite in this unlocked upgrades and also doctrine unlocked upgrades list there is another website that explains to you what these numbers are in terms of actual doctrine names so let me show you again link in the description blah 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 uh, this is made by wheels 35 so the doctrine that i wanted to change remember was I want to change my belief in sacrifice trait to belief in afterlife trait. And this is a trait we have to change the number for in uh, two separate uh, places. So we have to change number 30 in the Doctrine Unlocked Upgrades and uh, number 9 in Cult Trait. This is actually a different um, array that I didn't actually mention before. And then we have to change number 30 to 31 and then number nine to number three. But once I show you, it will be much easier. So like the website said, we need to change number 30 in this Doctrine Unlocked Upgrades list to number 31. And then the other one was Cult Trait 9 to Cult Trait 3. I'm using the Control F search in a Notepad++, but even in just normal Notepad, I think you can search for it so cult trait that's gonna be easy because there's only two numbers here so number nine is going to be number three i'm gonna save this also make sure that i would save your old not human readable json file as something else just in case you mess something up i just put old at the end of it and i left it here and make sure to put the the slot uh, JSON file that you got from the website that is human readable, this one, don't leave it in your downloads folder. Put it in the actual uh, game folder. And you can edit this from here whenever you want. I saved this file. Let's reload the game. So I reloaded the game. And as you can see, or whatever this was, I have really short term memory. Uh, but we got belief in afterlife instead. So that's how easy it was. If you found this useful, let us know in the comment section below. Check out my other gaming content on my channel. Like and subscribe for more and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.